Facts never helped anyone sell anything. They are overvalued and people use them in their funnel businesses. If you're struggling to sell marketing funnels, maybe your customers are also struggling to sell their products and maybe you can't get people to understand why they're buying, you need to watch this video. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to sell marketing funnels as well as how to move away from competing against other products when customers say, yeah, but can this product do that or can your marketing funnels do this? This and how to move away from that kind of irksome understanding part of the sales process. Hey Funnel Builders, Mike here from Sell Your Service. I've got some free training down below on how to find your first marketing funnel customer. If you're a marketing funnel builder, you should check out this channel and subscribe. Hit the little button below because I produce new video content every single week to help funnel builders like you find, close, and attract five-figure marketing funnel deals. In the meantime, let's talk about why you shouldn't use facts to sell your products. So marketing funnels are very complex. Whether Even though we might be experts, they're still relatively complex uh, systems and processes that we need to put together in order to do loads of quite cool stuff like marketing automation and remarketing. The disconnect is that even though we know how powerful they are and how cool they can be and all the stuff that we can do with them, customers still don't need necessarily see the benefit to them of why they should buy them. What then happens is when a customer doesn't understand how it benefits them, we think we should go to facts and statistics about the product and about the funnel. What happens as well is when we're at the proposal stage and maybe the customer is kind of going along with us and they want to propose and we're pitching to them and I'd be interested to know actually, let me know in the comments below if this has ever happened to you, where we then say, okay, yeah, but why wouldn't my nephew do this? Or it sounds just like a website, why wouldn't I just kind of get a website designer to do this? Or even worse, I've heard of like software and stuff like lead pages and click funnels that can do it for me, why wouldn't I use them? The first rule of selling marketing funnels is don't talk about marketing funnels. Too often we get caught up talking about the features and all of the stuff that a marketing funnel does when what we should be focusing on is the benefits. The misconception is that people believe that facts help people make better decisions. Now, kind of logically or in the back of your head, that might sound obvious. Obviously, as many facts as possible help people make rationalized and informed decisions. And the problem is it's just not true. Let's take two huge political examples uh, to kind of illustrate this. Donald Trump, running for president and Brexit. Now, whichever side of the camp you fall on, I'm not, I don't care, right? Whichever side of the camp, whether you vote for Trump, whether you didn't vote for Trump, whether you voted for Brexit, whether you didn't vote for Brexit. The problem is that there were facts from both sides, regardless of whether they're true or not, that's not the point. There were facts from both sides and yet, even empirically, when we look at the data now to suggest what was true and what wasn't true, people weren't making decisions based around the volume of the facts. They weren't even making a decision based on whether the facts were true. They were making decisions based on how do I see this affecting me in the future? What is my emotional connection? A lot of human beings like to think that they're very logical and they think things through in a rational manner. We don't. We're animals. Most of us live in very primitive parts of our brain and they don't allow us to use facts to our advantage. Facts tend to be overvalued when we're trying to make a decision. So when a customer is trying to make a decision about whether they should buy a marketing funnel from you, most people will resort to facts to try and bring them back. Another great example is just like before, when we're with a marketing funnel customer and they say, okay, well, why wouldn't I just get my nephew to do this? He said he can do it for 500 bucks. Why wouldn't I just use click funnels? People will then try to go back to facts and what they end up doing is competing fact against fact. And they say, yeah, you could use click funnels, but you won't have the support and you know, we've tried them before and they're not that great. Or yeah, your nephew could go ahead and do it, but you know, we've got loads of experience and you know, we've done this before or whatever. Truth is that facts don't help people become informed. Often it can paralyze them with analysis paralysis. So instead, what you need to do is sell futures, not features. 
From the offset, you shouldn't really be talking about marketing funnels at all. You should be saying to the customer, well, tell me more about your working day. And they'll say, well, I'm up at six. You know, I kind of have to leave uh, my husband to go ahead and kind of get the kids ready and take them to school. And then I'll be working through. I tend to miss lunch because I've got so much work to do. And then I'll kind of leave uh, late and try and have to pick the kids up and go home. And, you know, then we try to have a meal, but we're often too tired. You go, okay, great. So that's your family life. What if I allowed you to come to work later and leave earlier? so you could spend more time with your family. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Great, we have an email marketing platform that can help you do that. Look what I've done. I've sold the future, not the feature. I've sold the better life and the benefit to the customer that they want and I will deliver it with email marketing. And in truth, I don't even need to mention the email marketing. You need to be able to connect to the life and the emotions and the feelings and the status of the buyer. That's what they want to uh, experience. That's what they want to work with with you. When we talk to customers about very complex and large scale marketing funnel projects or consulting, it's very easy for us to start getting lost in the you know, automation side and the follow up processes and the remarketing and the building of audiences and chatbots and qualification, when really what I should be doing is bringing it back to their life and bringing it back to what they want. When a customer comes up to me and says, okay, but why wouldn't we just do this ourselves? The first thing I'll say is, okay, well, why haven't you? And that immediately puts them in a state of thinking, Oh, well, maybe because I don't have the time and I don't want to. They actually want you to say, well, you don't have the time. You're already busy. You're already too busy for this meeting. We could cut all that out and we could get started building funnels for you today or helping you save time and money. Yeah, don't say build funnels for you today because that's kind of going against. That was, that was, even I do it, right? This is the instinctual part of my brain. You could say instead, oh, we're going to start getting you some time back today. You could even start focusing on hiring. You know, one of our customers wants to write a book and I'm like, okay, well, my job is to give you more time to write that book and more excuses to write that book and more material to write that book. You shouldn't be doing any of this stuff. People don't buy funnels a bit like people don't buy bed. What people buy is a better night's sleep. They buy status. They want to make their partner happy. They want a comfortable night's sleep. They want a better back. They want to feel more energized in the morning. That's what people want. People want a reward at the end of the hard working day to be able to go and think at least my bed is comfortable even though everything else around me is extremely stressful. That's what they're buying. They're not buying mattresses and springs and uh, headboards and particular types of wood. They're buying status, they're buying emotion, they're buying connection to other people. That's what your marketing funnels have to deliver and that's what you have to focus on. Every other funnel builder that you are competing with will try and break it down to facts and they'll say, oh, well, the page builder we use is much faster than the page builder that company B uses or the code we use in ours is much cleaner than the code they use in ClickFunnels. They don't care about that. Customers don't give a flying fuck about that stuff. What they want to see is, I'll tell you why you don't want to use ClickFunnels. You already don't have the time to have this meeting with me now and I'm trying to save you time. You tell me that you wake up early and you go home late. You don't have a enough time to spend with your kids and now you're saying that you yourself want to build something or you want to hire someone to build something, continue to train them or get it wrong. Does that sound like an sensible investment of your time? No, it doesn't. Great. Sign here. This is what we can do to get started. You should be selling futures, not features. What's the biggest benefit that you bring to your customers? How do you make their lives better? Let me know in the comments below. If you're a funnel builder, you should go ahead and subscribe. I produce new video content like this every single week, helping funnel builders like you close, attract and find five figure marketing funnels. We've got some free training down below on how to find your first marketing funnel customer. Give me a like and a share as well. If you thought this video was useful, that really helps me and the channel out. In the meantime, guys, I've probably got a couple of videos here about how to sell marketing funnels and how to create a recurring revenue product. Uh, I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, in the meantime, guys, yeah, go ahead and keep selling those funnels.